Good morning everyone and welcome to Tokyo here in Japan. Today is an absolutely gorgeous day, it's isn't it? It's so nice. It's so... We were just saying how like, perfect the weather is. It's like blue skies, the sun's out, it's, like it's nice and crisp. Oh. And it's the first time I've worn a pair of jeans and a hoodie in, well, maybe even over a year because we left the UK in summer. So, yeah, I mean, maybe a year. Yeah, it's been and a while. It's crazy. Hello. Hello. It's crazy. Like, oh, it's just so nice to be here. It's our first morning here. So we got here late yesterday. Actually, we just did our vlog. And yeah, it's our first day here. So we're going to go. Our first stop is going to be Tokyo Station. And then we're going to go and check out the cherry blossoms in Tokyo, which is the Ueno region um, or district. And yeah, I mean, it's going to be our first impressions because we haven't seen what this country looks like in the light yet. Uh, it looks very light. It, look, it looks very different in the dark. It does. So. We haven't yet seen kind of the neon signs yet, or I feel like not like the real Tokyo that we see in pictures and videos. Yeah. So we are excited to head a bit more into the city. Yeah. So I feel like blossoms. we're a good half hour away from the city, aren't we? Like the centre. Yeah, so it's about that, yeah. Or something. But oh my god, so happy to be here. It's just so nice to see like clean, like clean water. Yeah. I like we brushed our teeth today and we didn't use. Bottled water. I, know, just I love it. Water. <laughs> Unreal. But yeah, come and join us as we explore Tokyo. Yeah. Okay then, so we're now on the metro line. Um, the Hanzomon line Z or Z, however you want to say it. And we're going to Ueno, which is where the cherry blossoms are. Um, so and how long? Zoo. Is it? And zoo. I don't know if we're going to be going there. Um, it takes us around 16 minutes to get there. We've got two different tubes or metros to get, so. Yeah, hopefully it's all right. I mean, we're doing all this without any signal. We're just following this like map that we've been given. Yeah. Because um, we haven't yet got SIM cards, so we do need to get some SIM cards at some point today. We thought 7-Eleven would do SIM cards, but it turns out they don't around yeah. where we're staying, so we do need to find somewhere. Hopefully. that will be all blind. Yeah, which is quite a good way to explore, really, isn't it? Yeah. But then it'd be very easy to get lost here in Tokyo. True. With not many people but is it a bad thing getting lost in Tokyo? No, not at all. No, no not at all. Um, I'm excited to get lost. <laughs> Wow, these trains are busy. Actually, this one's not, oh yeah, it's not great. It's so busy. Yeah. I hope we can get off here. Right then, so we've finally arrived at Ueno, uh, which is, I believe, a district. We just got off the train and we've seen our first Sakura tree, cherry blossom. Um, now, we were expecting a bit more here. Uh, we thought in the park there'd be loads, but I think it's just, these two. They're so busy. There's so many people taking pictures. Yeah. So you kind of can't walk through just in case you get someone's pictures. But <laughs> and it's like not just tourists. It's loads of locals too taking photos. So they're obviously very popular. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? Like it's unreal. It's so nice. Um, we just need to find the area where there's more than just one uh, or two. But I mean, this place is so cool. We're like. Wow, like amazed. <laughs> this is incredible. All the anime and stuff, it's just like so sick. And we finally sorted some cards at 7 Eleven. Yeah, quite so, an easy process actually. Yeah, so now we know where we're going. We have access to the internet, we have access to maps. So from here, I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but Japan's our oyster right now, isn't it? Can't wait. But first, cherry blossom ticked off, and wow, insane. So then we're currently walking through Ueno Park um, and we were expecting to see some more cherry blossoms. So we've seen a couple, but for the majority, these are all still yet to bud. So this walkway here is like the number one cherry blossom att attraction in Tokyo. In Tokyo. Yeah, I can imagine it's so beautiful, but I think we are just a little bit too early. Yeah. I think they kind of bloom maybe in a few weeks. Yeah. Maybe early April. It looks like they're about two weeks away. Um, we're, the date is now 16th of March, so yeah, luck. I mean, you can just about see they're on their way out, but not this yet. Be so so nice when they're yeah. all like, oh, they must be such beautiful. Because look, it's just like a walkway, cherry blossom either side in the middle of a park. It must be incredible. It's a little bit early. Time. <laughs> we are having a great time. Uh, and we'll see the cherry blossoms in Kyoto and Osaka as time goes on. So we won't miss them. Uh, we've just missed them in Tokyo, unfortunately. Uh, but it's nice, really nice around here, isn't it? Oh, it's so nice. You can like, get a little boat, rent those. I think they're about 500 yen. 
Yeah, it's um, a couple of pounds. It's not too bad, really, is it? It looks good fun as well. Yeah. It's quite a tourist attraction, this park, I think. It's quite yeah. a tourist if you've seen. Yeah, it's like a Japanese version of Central Park in New York here, isn't it? Yeah. It's like Hyde Park. Is it? Yeah, yeah equivalent of Green Park. Hyde yeah, Park, Green Hyde Park. So nice. So we just arrived, just left the station now. We're going to head to the park as a first stop, the Shinjuku National Park, um, and then we'll explore the area afterwards. But we want to check out the park while it's nice and sunny. Hopefully, there's some uh, cherry blossoms there, but we're not sure. Um, but I think it's just like over that way, so we're there in a minute. Not entirely sure, not a clue what he's saying, but no, we've got no idea. They have an egg slot. I've egg heard slot. of that before. Uh, so then we've arrived now at the park. Um, I believe it's actually ticketed. I didn't realise it to be ticketed. Uh, I thought it was going to be like a free to enter park, but I mean, it's all right. Uh, I think it's like 500 yen, which is like, I think it works out to be £2.50, so it's not bad at all, really. Um, that's fine. Yeah, adults 500 yen. We'll go over here. Oh, it's a bit windy. So windy. Yeah. It's really, really popular here today. Um, really busy as fact. I guess it's because it's a Sunday. Um, but yeah. Let's get our tickets. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, QR code on the ticket, I believe, is over here somewhere. Let's give it a go. There we go. We are through. We are free. Okay then, so we're now in the park and this is our first ever traditional Japanese garden and it looks incredible. From the corner of our eyes, we have spotted what looks to be a cherry blossom of some sort that has kind of bloomed. It's already attracting a lot of attention, so we're gonna go there and check it out uh, because there's not much around here that has blossomed yet. We're a little bit early. Yeah, we're, I think we're like a week or two a bit early, it is only mid-March. Yeah. And we keep hearing stories about them either blooming a little bit later because of the weather change or something. So hopefully yeah. <laughs> we catch them in Kyoto and Osaka. Yeah, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. But this place looks incredible. So nice. It's designed incredibly. In the UK, the kind of like Japanese traditional garden is very popular. Yeah. Especially for people who have a lot of money. I think it's where it's quite luxurious looking and I don't know. They are mm -hmm. quite popular though. I yeah, don't know. they are. And here we have, there we go. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up, but there we have a nice cherry blossom tree. And a couple more on the side down there actually, but it looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. Doesn't it? See, as you can see, they're very popular. They're attracting a lot of tourists. Uh, it's quite nice to see actually, but I feel like we are about a week too early for the cherry blossom here in Tokyo. Um, but these gardens are so nice. I love like the little bridges and the, uh, the like, I guess they're like the temple kind of building statues and then the trees as well. It's so cool, oh, isn't it? It's so nice. All we're missing now is uh, visibility of some koi carp in here. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there we go. Oh, right on carp? time. Yeah, it's a carp. It's a koi carp. Koi carp. Uh, well, I think these are just normal carps. I think koi carps are usually quite colourful, um, but these ones are just like standard black colour. But cool though, really cool. So we're just walking through the Shinjuku area now, and it is actually half 12, so it means it's lunchtime. We spotted on the corner a really nice looking restaurant here, so we might go in there and grab some food. We've seen a lot of places where you have to queue up, um, but we're actually really hungry, so we don't want to queue up and we just want to get some of this. We have no idea. And it's really handy that they do have some English words on the menu. Yeah. It makes it a bit easier to figure, for us to figure out. Like, this is true. Is. And the photos look incredible. So. About video shooting in the store. So. Okay, so we'll have to be like uh, nice and subtle with the camera. Uh, I'll show you guys what we eat. It did, uh, there was a sign on there that said no. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just try and be subtle with the camera. We'll show you guys what we eat, um, but other than that, I won't vlog too much. So I've gone for the teriyaki fried chicken and Beth has gone That's for the... And I went for the 
deep fried yam naonu chicken rice bowl, which I think might be Korean. Mm. But mine looks but incredible. Um, for 1,200 yen, it's not too bad. Give this chicken a taste. Mm. Oh, that's really, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm still just trying to figure out how to use chopsticks. Mm. <laughs> and I've just dropped it everywhere, really. Yeah. Oh wow. no. Uh, and they both come with this like broccoli stuff. And mine also comes with what looks like a poached egg, so I'm going to whack that Ooh. right in there. Nice to mix with the rice. Yeah. Um, and we'll pop it. And hopefully then I can mix it in with the rice. But this is incredible. It tastes so good. Um, I think 1,200 yen is about six pounds, so really good price, isn't it? Oh, she's mouthful. Go back down. Don't want to see that, do we? Mm -mm. <laughs> but yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Um, it's really, really nice, actually. Um, it's worth noting Dan went for the ten-piece chicken, I think. So it was slightly more expensive. I just went for the six-piece chicken, which was, I think, maybe two hundred yen cheaper. And they quite, quite big portions. Mm. So these portion sizes are actually really big. Like I'm. Um, Halfway to being stuffed right now. No. Um, and I've still got quite a lot. Maybe I should have gone for this normal size like Beth did. Maybe that was a sensible option. Mm. But I mean, it's really good. Like, really nice food. Um, I can't wait for the next three weeks of having this kind of Japanese food because it's just incredible. Uh, it's just so good. You enjoy yours? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So on our way to one of the main attractions here in Shijuku, we are going to head to the Kabuchi Sakura Doria Street, which Kabuchi. is a street. Kabuchi. It's not Kabuchi. 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 I think Kabuchi is the drink. Yeah. You know well, that nice drink? Yeah. <laughs> My pronunciation is not great, basically. Um, it's yeah. hard. But this street is really cool. Oh, wow. um, I can imagine it looks really cool at night. Um, in the daytime, however. I mean, it's still quite cool, but... Uh, this is like where you get all the neon signs and everything like that. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's still pretty sick actually. It's pretty nice. Wow. Mm. I need to stop to take a picture. So where we're going to first is the Godzilla head. Apparently there's like a big building with a Godzilla head on top of it. Uh, so, I mean, I've never seen that before, but I have seen photos of it. So we're going to go check that out after Beth's got her shot. Give you a minute. Which normally takes a good 10 minutes. Um, yeah, that's just a pretty cool It's so colourful and like anime. I love it. It's a really popular street, as you may or may not be able to see. So, we are now on the road where you can see the thing we're looking for. We just need to get back a bit because it's behind us and you can only see it from a certain distance back here. So, three, two, one. There we go. That is what we were looking for. The Godzilla head up there is on top of the uh, cinema building. And it looks really quite cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a bit random. Yeah, not entirely sure what it represents or what it's there for, but it looks cool. And this street is really busy. I guess maybe that's like a big... It's a cinema. Cinema. Mate, that's huge for and just one cinema. Well. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this street is really cool, like the signs. I can't wait for sundown. We're going to stay here all day and all night uh, and get some super night. cool yeah. videos. Um, so I can't wait to see what it looks like at night, basically. But yeah, now... We get to go to my favourite spot, which I've been banging on about all day. Just need to go and find it, and then we'll let you know as soon as we get there. But this is going to be the, uh, best, the best thing to do today. Oh yeah. Okay then, so we've arrived at what we thought was Pokemon Square. Um, but it doesn't look very Pokemon-y so far, does it? I don't know it? Is. No. Um, is it in there? I'm not sure. Really no, so there's a lot of anime stuff along the walls here, um, but I can't yet see much Pokemon. So, are we in the wrong place? So it actually turns out that it's just like a Pokemon area. There's no like shops or anything, I believe, uh, selling any Pokemon cards, which is a shame because I thought you would have like a Pokemon <laughs> store in the area. Um, I know there is a. Bit, bit anticlimax. <laughs> yeah, I know there is a big mega Pokemon store like two miles away so we will go and visit that whilst we're here but yeah I just thought Pokemon Square or Pokemon area would have a shop in it never mind it's still, still cool still haven't had your um, like you'd think you can get some Pokemon cards or something from this area but you can't no it's just kind of decorated it's, I mean it's nice yeah. it's quite nice I think we should go and have a look in there because that looks no. like a bit of a shop of some sort yeah um, but 
So we've decided, although it's like a two mile journey, which is about half an hour, we're gonna do it. So we're gonna catch a train and then we're gonna walk there to the Pokemon Center because we thought, why not? We're here now and we want to see Pokemon. It's a uh, mega Pokemon Center as well. Yeah, I which means that makes a difference. it's gonna be fucking huge. <laughs> it's what difference it makes. So yeah, I mean, we should be there soon, hopefully. Um, and we'll give you a tour of what the mega Pokemon Center looks like here in Tokyo. Okay then, so we are now in the Sunshine Mall because apparently Beth thinks that the Pokemon Center is here. Uh, and you would have noticed I've changed my hat, it's because I bought a new hat, I've still got the old one in here, so you're not going crazy, I just bought a new one. But the Pokemon Center, which we're trying to find. Supposedly is here. Yeah, I mean, I can't, to Google Maps. I can't see any, I can see signs for an aquarium, a planetarium, world import mart, but no Pokemon just yet, so not sure what that is, but we'll find it. Hopefully shortly. Let's have a look over here. Huh. That's huge. Okay, so I think we found the floor and yes, I can see the Pokemon sign. We are here. Just gotta navigate our way through. And like, even like these bits here are designed for all the Pokemon, so you can tell that Pokemon's here. And just over there we have our Pokemon store. It looks really busy, so I'm not entirely sure how to get in there. Maybe. Oh my god, this is so cool. It looks huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. This looks crazy. Well, 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 here we go. Now, it's so busy in here. Is that oh my god. Pay? I'm not sure, I think so. This is so busy, like a lot, like, insanely busy actually. We don't even know where to go. Yeah, oh my God. Um, right, literally no idea where to go, what to do, because it's way too busy, we can't concentrate, but hopefully we can find our way somewhere. What's through there? Oh, we've got some stickers there, Beth. This is the end of the line though. Oh, really cool stickers actually. Look at those. They're six stickers. Are they so cute? Yeah. I don't know how much they are though. How much are they? 385. Three, yeah. Japan, so that's two pounds, I think. Yeah, two pounds. So we're gonna get a little teddy and then a couple of stickers and then get out of here because it's so busy, like really busy here. I didn't realise it could be this busy. Um, the one we went to in Singapore wasn't that bad, but this one is like, as you can see, hectic as f The queue is absolutely massive as well. Hello. Like they've actually got lines to queue in the store, which is just insane. So yeah, we're gonna get these little stickers. They're actually so cool. I think this one's about 385 yen, so just under two pounds. The teddy is around 1,200 yen, I think. Yeah. So about uh, six pounds. So it's not over too bad to be honest. We'll probably spend about 10 pounds altogether. So pretty reasonable really. So cute. <laughs> I don't know what one this is. Yeah, we thought it was uh, Jigglytuff at first, but it's not. I don't actually know which one it is, so we're gonna have to find out. I think it's like a newer generation one, but it's cute. She's cute. So that came to a total of 2,000 yen for the teddy bear and the two stickers. Uh, to be honest, you could spend a lot of money in there. We saw someone who spent like well over 100 pounds. Um, like but 130, 40 quid. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really have that much room in our suitcases, so that is enough. Um, and yeah, it's just something to take home and remember from Tokyo Pokemon Store. Now we're gonna head back in towards the Shinjuku area and hopefully the sun has gone down and the lights have turned on because apparently it looks incredible at night. So we're gonna head that way and hopefully it'll be fun. But oh my God, there's even there's more. So much on yeah. There's so much Pokemon stuff here, I don't understand. So what's this bit then? Don't say there's more toys. Pokemon Go. Okay, so this is more of the game. There is more there's toys and they look better than ours. Right, should we go okay. see if we can have a look? Uh, uh, yeah, go on, I, I have <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's more toys. <coughs> oh wow, look. They're kind of the same. 
Oh yeah, this one's cool. Kangaskhan. I'm not sure, but that's sick. I like that. Um, and there's just loads more down there as well. This is more of a game, so um, Kangaskhan. Let's get out before we and buy some more. So I heard the camera's picking it up, but this place is insane at night. Like all these lights are absolutely incredible. Should we stay and take a picture? Okay, we can stay and take a picture. Like, oh my god, look at that. I hope the camera's picking it up as well as it is in person. I'm sure it's not. Yeah. We are there is like a couple of streets over that way where the lights are like this but in a small little alleyway so we're gonna go and show that because we, we walked past it earlier and it looks sick so yeah I mean that's this cool is isn't so it? cool. <clears throat> Let's go Love and find it. this little street shall we? I swear you don't get stuff like this in the UK. No not, not at all. Not like this Maybe level anyway. Maybe New York. Maybe New York. Like, what's it called? New York Square. Times Square. Times Square. Yeah. Um, but I don't think you get this in the UK. No, you don't. I don't remember ever seeing Definitely seeing not. Like this. Definitely not. But this is sick. There's so, much, there's so much going on, there's so many people, there's so many lights and there's, I don't know what he's saying, no idea what he's saying, not a clue. Um, we're just on the way to the little streets that we found earlier but we're kind of like stuck here watching these adverts and stuff which are quite cool. Um, For a city that has actually been surprisingly very quiet the whole time we've been here. Yeah, it's very loud in here. Yeah. <laughs> but no idea what he's all about. It's So we finally found the little street. It's Amoid Yoko Cho. And it's basically a really thin alleyway with like uh, restaurants either side. Now it gets really busy in there. So it's going to be a case of like trying to squeeze through everyone. But we're going to go for a walk now and I'll show you what it's like. And it's insane. It's so cool. It's by far the coolest thing I've actually ever seen, I think, when it comes to streets, anyway. This is what it looks like. And I'll try and get... It's like the coolest kind of Japanese yeah. traditional vibe. Yeah. And then each, on the left, you've got restaurants. And they're basically really small and really thin. You can only fit like one or two people in. Like that. I would say no more than 10 people yeah. per restaurant. <laughs> it's incredible, look. And there you've got people sitting inside. It's really nice. Yeah. They're so small. Everyone's getting photos and videos like us. Well, you literally have all of the kind of smell of the barbecue. So you've got the lanterns, the cherry blossoms here. I think they're fake cherry blossoms actually. Yeah, they are. Um, just to kind of add to the vibe. Yeah, but look, this is what they look like inside. There you go. That's like perfect. All people in line and you all sit on a table there again. It's so hot and stuffy. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? So cool. It's the coolest little street. Yeah, I keep going down. Wow, so busy. It's like proper busy here. The temple with the orange, the orange. I bet these restaurants are fully booked as well, yeah. had most of the time. Well, the odds, you might get lucky to get in on space. Mm. So yeah, that is like the coolest little street in the Shinbuku area in Tokyo. Like, if you're in this area, definitely come because it's just so cool. Um, but now that is pretty much a wrap for today. We are so tired, our feet are killing we us. About 10 hours. Yeah, so we're gonna hit the hay, we're gonna get a train back to where we're staying and then have an early night for a busy day tomorrow where we go to Team Labs and the uh, Shibuya area, I think. So yeah, gonna be a good one. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.